Hey everybody, for those of you who like to keep track of my writing progress and my books and stuff, this is my second writing update. I know it's been a while since I've done one. Some things have kind of come up recently that have kind of forced me to slow down on my writing. But let's start off with the good news first. Well, I don't really have any bad news, just... Let's start off with the best news first. My short story, Walls, I've done about 5,000 words. And it's going to turn out to be longer than what I expected, so I tacked out another couple thousand words here on my progress bar. If it had stayed at 5,000 words, I would pretty much be done by now. I am going through and doing some rewriting, too, making... Because my first draft kind of sucked, so I'm going through and rewriting it and making it a lot better than what it was. I'm going to probably run it through my critique group one more time and do any edits I need to do before I go and release it, because I've only read half of it to my critique group, so... This is going to be done pretty soon here, but I'm not going to put a deadline on it. Just those of you that are subscribed to my e-zine, and I'll have the link below in the description there, you will get this for free when it's released. I'm getting a cover together for it too, which I'll probably have that done this weekend. But I'm not going to release the cover till I release the story because, hey, it's a short story. 7,000 words isn't short, short, but I'm, if you're not signed up for my newsletter and you, all you gotta do is pay 99 cents for it. It's not gonna be expensive or anything. So this is getting closer to done. I've been doing a lot of work on this. I actually worked on it today while well, my lunch break at work and got a lot of done on it. So this should be done here pretty soon. I'm having a lot of fun writing it. It's something a little bit different. And no it's not a Minecraft knockoff because those of you who read it who also play Minecraft will think it is due to a couple things in my story but it's not. It's just something that happened in the story. So, for those of you who play this game, you will see a few things that don't remind you of Minecraft, so. I apologize for that, but I'm not trying to b bum off the game or anything, or bum any ideas off, it's just the way the story went, and I'm going to leave it at that. These two books I haven't been going as quickly on. I've got another 5,000 words done on Twisted, but I'm also rewriting some of the stuff that I've written before, too, so I'm making progress on that. So it doesn't look like I've done much on this progress bar, but I have. So I added one more black wool to this today before I record it. And I am kind of going a little bit slower on Torn, which is the sequel that I'm working on right now. And Twisted is the first book which is completed. I got about 15,000 words done and I have about 65,000 words. I pretty much know where the story is going to go now. It's just a matter of writing it and making it not suck, which is going to take a while. And the things that have happened in the last couple weeks here is my first book went out to like bloggers and stuff and I got mostly good reviews but not as good as I wanted. And I kind of got depressed after that because some of them were just like, oh it's okay or it's good but not fantastic or pointed out a lot of things I didn't like. So that's why I'm slowing down on book number two here. Well, first I had a couple of wisdom teeth taken out so I didn't really write a lot for a few days after that because I was kind of hurting. Then after that, a bunch of reviews came in for this, so that kind of depressed me a little bit. I probably just overreacted, but that's just me. I like to make my books as good as possible. I want people to say, oh, it's awesome, or I want people to really enjoy it, or which I have gotten a lot of good reviews for this one. I've only had one really scathing one so far. The others have been all right to good, so, but I feel like I can do better on the second book, and that's why my progress has kind of slowed down on this. So I'm pretty much changing the way that I write books now because, for one thing, I don't think I'm doing as good as I should. I'm kind of a perfectionist and I'm kind of hard on myself. I feel like I could do better on my writing than what I've been doing. And in order to change that here, I'm switching up a few things, pretty much just switching up the way that I write. Nice view of the ceiling there, huh? And it started raining. <laughs> So first things first, I do have to explain a couple of things here. I do work five days a week at a job that has nothing to do with writing and I'm there about nine hours per day. And I also have a 40 mile drive one way to work, so it's about an hour and a half I spend on the road every day. And then when I get home, I usually do my writing when I'm completely exhausted and drained and tired and I don't think I'm doing a service to me or my readers by writing when, at my, when I'm at my most tired. And also, too, I tend to put myself on extremely tight deadlines. And that's not I don't think that's really helping my situation either because I'm forced to rush when I really should be going a little bit slower, in my opinion. And another thing is I tend to shove a lot of my writing on the weekends when I have a bunch of other stuff to do. So 
I normally do my video recording on weekends too, so I'm just trying to cram way too much into time or you know, other things come up, you know. Weekends come up, I have to, you know, I have to go see my family, you know, do anything that pops up, go to dinners, you know. Do my video recording on top of that. So I'm just pretty much just going to be switching some things around here. For one, I'm going to start doing all my video recording during the work week. After work, when I don't have to be thinking all that much. I don't have to be at 100% to do my video recording, which is thankful. So I think I'm going to start recording all these videos during the work week. And then I'm going to move more of my writing to the weekend when I'm not tired from work. And that way it'll give me a little bit more time on each area here. I'm not scrambling around nearly as much. And then another thing I'm going to be doing with my writing... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say here. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting rid of deadlines. So I'm not going to be setting any deadlines for myself anymore. So pretty much when I start a project, it'll be done when it's done. I'm not going to take too much longer to write books, but I'm not going to be nearly as much under pressure to meet a deadline when I don't set one for myself. So that'll give me a little bit of time, you know, just kind of slow down, take my time, really, really, really edit a book. Don't worry about, you know, making a certain date or having it out by a certain date. And I think that's going to help dramatically. I won't have any as many errors creep through on a book or anything like that. And readers will have a better experience. I'll have a better experience. And, another th and then the third thing I'm going to do... Oh, I lost my train of thought again. Third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop writing after work when I'm tired and exhausted from working. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to try to do more writing on the weekends when I'm not doing my videos. And I'm also going to try doing more writing early in the day. I am fortunate that I have a netbook, which I can take along with me. So, uh, pretty much I just make sure it's charged. You know, it's nice and small and portable. I take it to my writer's groups. You know, I take it to critiquing, you know. Occasionally I'll take it with me to work. So I think I'm going to start taking it with me to work more often and working on it there earlier in the day before I'm dead tired and exhausted. And, I, and I've been doing, I did this today, you know, I got up early because I knew the roads were going to be bad and I wound up getting to work way too early and I had my netbook with me, so before my work officially started I just pulled it out and worked on my short story over here, Walls. And I was actually pretty impressed with how it was turning out on the second draft. And I'm like, oh wow, I am writing better now that I'm not dead tired when I'm writing. So I think I'm going to start, you know, just setting my alarm for a little bit earlier, getting up, grabbing my netbook, going to work. And I have 40 minutes in the car to wake up before I actually get to work. Because I can't, you know, just get out of bed and get right on the computer and start writing. I'm groggy. That's actually going to be even worse and wait until the very, very end of the day to do my writing. So I think I'm going to start setting my alarm for a little bit earlier. I'm just going to grab my netbook, head to work. Before I have to punch in and my first patients come in for the day, I'm going to maybe get an hour or half hour writing done. Put my netbook, netbook away, work my morning, then at lunch break I'll grab my netbook again and write a little bit more while I'm on my lunch break. I have an hour long lunch break so I think I'm going to utilize that for more writing time. And That way when I get home I'm not under pressure to write because to be honest half the time before when I was, when I you know, set my writing type for home I would get home, I'd make dinner, you know, feed my cats feed my spiders if necessary. Yes, I do keep spiders. Do whatever else had to be done, you know, possibly go out to dinner, you know. I'm the only one in the house with the car, so, you know, things come up and you just can't avoid it. And by the time I'd sit down to write, it'd be 8, 9 o'clock at night and I'm pretty much dead tired, so that's just not a good thing, so. I will be going a little bit slower on this book, but I am still working on it. I'm just working a little bit more intensely on it. I've got my critique group on some things that the bloggers didn't care for, and I think I know how to fix all these problems. So the sequel to Twisted over here should be a lot better than the original. At least I'm hoping. I'm really, really, really working a lot more intensely on it and being a little bit more thorough. So I apologize. The release date's probably not going to be in April like I hoped. It might be... May or June or something, just because I'm taking a little bit of extra time on it. But I want to give you guys, you know, the best reading experience I can. And that's going to mean, you know, just making some changes. And I think if I write more in the morning, I'll probably actually get more accomplished, because getting home super late at night, I would have some nights where I just sit and don't want to write at all. It's like, oh, I'm tired, I don't want to, you know, do any more work. Or... So I might actually be a little bit more productive this way. 
So I think on the third writing update, I'll let you guys know how I'm doing with that and how I'm progressing. And by the time my third writing update is out, and I don't know when that is, I should have the short story done. And that's probably when I, I'll do my third update is when this is completed here, so... I'll let you guys know where you can get it for free if you're subscribed to my newsletter, and I'll have a link down in the description there. I think I'm going on about 10 minutes of just yapping here, so I think I'll end that for today. If you have any comments or anything or ideas for my writing update videos or anything you want to see me do or anything, just leave a comment and let me know. Anything you guys want me to include or... So I got a few comments from my last one. I mean, I know these videos aren't for everybody, so let's get out of the rain here. I think I will see you next time.